Uh, welcome back to another episode, and probably the last episode I'm going to be recording for today. I've recorded so many episodes today, it's not even funny, but this one probably takes the cake of the funniest episode, and you guys should be in my war until April 1st, 1850s. I'm not sure this war is going to be going on that long, but anyways, we have the Germans fighting both me and the French. And you know, a long time ago, I said that if the French had joined in my war, we probably would have won. Uh, this is basically going to prove it to you guys right here. Because this is... The French have already have a good enough army to fight the Germans by themselves. But then once you add in the fact that... I don't know, you have a massive French army behind you. That's bigger than theirs. They're not going to be able to fight this for very long. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be destroying the uh, Italians. Yes, those feel, those really, and I'm only, by the way, I'm only using slur terms for this game, not for real life. I don't actually believe any of this in real life, but these filthy Italians for what they did to us in the uh, two Venetian Wars where they took both Medeva and when they took Venice from us. I'm still mad about that, okay? I do not, I hold grudges for years. I, I fit in so well with, with, with Victorian society, I just want to point that out, like, War and vengeance? Sweet, I like that idea. Okay, um, we're also gonna go hit them right here. Yeah, it, it's Italy. You might as well give up now. I have the upper advantage. This is basically a war. I'm going to win no matter what. I just have to make sure. I just have to make sure my allies don't get too overswarmed by uh, evil troops. But as you guys can see, France is basically destroying, destroying them. And you know what? In this war. Do I want to do it this war? I don't know. I don't think I will, though. Uh, well, if you guys don't know what I was thinking... Oh, you guys stay right here. You guys don't need to attack. Uh, what I was thinking is basically I was going to go attack, like... I wanted to think if I should add in the Prussian... Uh... A gigantic piece of Prussia just to be formed out of here, but like just form the Prussian Prussian army. But I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. You guys move back. Okay, let me go crush some of these armies over here so that they don't get too ahead of themselves. But moving in, but this is like the perfect time to attack the the Germans. Oh, they don't they don't even have enough. Uh and it seems like the Italians are trying to do a good mounted, good mounted, like, expedition to try to fight me. And to try to reconquer all their lands, but... Hey, you know what? I have been doing this a lot longer than you have, and... I am about, I'm about two shorts, two shorts, two cents shy of just destroying you guys outright. So let's go do that. Like, this is, this is my moment right now. If this, if it's anyone's moment right now, it's my moment to go and destroy you guys. And I have most of my war goal already, so it's not even like I really need to be in this anymore. Let's go make sure you guys die. So I want to make sure that our uh, Bavarian friends do not get overwhelmed. Because I want to make sure I kill some Germans. Okay, we got that. Let's see, they might crush on me a little bit, but they're losing too many men over here, which is nice. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. This is so nice. Okay, seems like we have tons of... We have tons of French soldiers just moving around. Okay, there we go. Move in that way. Move in that way. Apparently they have some soldiers over there. Mm-hmm. They have a good, gigantic death stack right there. We got our soldiers right there moved in. Yes, and then we have a couple soldiers right there. The French basically crushed up the Germans' army. I'm hoping that whatever they do to them, it's going to be quite... Wait, when am I going to get this tech? 1880. So I can get that tech in 1880, that's when we're going to unite the Empire. Okay. So while we're doing that, we might as well get some good old interchangeable parts. Start advancing our industry even more. <laughs> okay, seems like we basically crushed all this. I'm going to make sure we crush that right there. Then I'll come back and go deal with this biggish army right there. That's probably the best, the last big army they have. So I'm going to make sure it all kind of dies in a very good, horrible fashion. And then these Italians right here are dead. 
Okay. Okay. Move in that way. Move in that way. <laughs> no. And then France. Seems like there's a good duking out between France, France and Italy. But most of it seems to be that they're not going to win. Okay. Over here, though. Um, I want to make sure I keep all of them in. So let's go internationally. I can actually join this crisis. Thank goodness. Okay, there we go. Go deal with some of these Germans. Let's go start crushing some of these German lines. Yes. Come on, friends. Keep helping me. Keep pushing back the Germans. Where? <laughs> uh, oh, that's cute. They, they really do think that they can hide behind my lines and try to reconquer their land. Oh, and they think that they... Now that's just vicious. Attacking my attacking me while I don't even pay attention. That's just like Rude you guys are, are gonna be able to enter in here soon. So that's even gonna add in more help to us and Oh gosh <coughs> oh, Excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Ah So yes This is possibly the greatest moment of my life well, at least the greatest moment in this campaign. Well, there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna either be swarmed by me, or they're gonna be swarmed by other people. I, th this is gonna happen. I'm going to destroy them. That's for sure. At least I'm going to make sure that they don't recover for a little bit. And wow, I didn't even pay attention to this battle, and we won. That's cool. Okay. You guys, go back here, go destroy these Italians. Because they obviously think that they can actually beat me right now, which is annoying. So yeah, go destroy these guys. Keep moving down. <laughs> uh, and by the way, oh, shoot. There's actually a decent sized battle right there going on. Um, yeah, just ignore them. Uh, they'll probably move and then just go right there. Because they actually sent in some decent amount of soldiers. Oh, they actually want to fight me there? Huh. Oh, and I won that battle too? <laughs> oh, gosh. This is going to be terrible for the Germans. Alright. Oh, the Germans peaced out. <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's only too late, guys. I think I won. Just saying. Germany. Uh, Bavaria. Uh, two Sicilies. No, that's pretty... Uh, Bavaria, as much as I love the fact you would love to expand, that's not exactly what we're going to do. Okay. Because now I have to actually think just a little bit harder about my decisions. Because now the Germans are basically me and them in. I mean, no one else is in this war but me and them now. So we basically have to uh, crush the rest of their army without the help of the mighty French. But it, it shouldn't be that hard. French basically crushed the rest of the... Uh, German army for me. There's not real much left to crush. Okay, you guys go back to here. Go destroy these guys. Um, I keep building men over here, which is also kind of annoying. So I have to keep. I have to keep peri periodically going back and going to destroy them, which just kind of annoying me. But in Italy, they're done for. In Germany, they're basically done for. I mean, look at this. We don't even see many like actual soldiers still out there. Quiet Viente? Yes, I would accept that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes! Oh yeah. And right there, that made me happy. Right there, guys. If you want to know true happiness, that was it. Right there, man. Uh, complete and utter victory. No chance of the Germans coming back from that one. And completely licking their wounds for a couple... Oh, they're even at war with Scandinavia, too? Oh, gosh. Oh, Scandinavia, that was a perfect time. Perfect time to attack. I think they're trying to get this region right here. In memory of our king, we will toast it in his name. Yeah, get him. Memoirs done. Let's see, by the way, can we start colonizing yet? New. No. 
not just yet. We should probably start justifying another little demand from these guys. Because like I said, we want to make sure that when the actual scramble for Africa comes, we don't just like take little, little tiny chunks. We want to make sure we take the good chunks from... Rejoice! Good. Rejoice, everyone! We have now become official great power status. Like, after that war of destroying them and teaching them finally what's up, I think... I think that officially closed it. The Germans, they're destroyed. They're, they're now thinking of us as like actual competitors in war instead of just, you know, people. We are actually competitors, which is why I like. And we have great armies spread out throughout the land. Uh, <laughs> that was a great war. <laughs> I can't deny to you guys. That was a great war right there. Birth rate exploding. Huzzah! Alright. And we got more factory output. And my factory actually should be going pretty quickly because I embrace the uh, military industrial complex because that's probably the best one to embrace in most of the game. Because it it really is the best. Italy, you behind this? You guys trying to do something to me? Well, anything you guys do, I'm basically going to be able to counter pretty easily. By the way, who added Egypt into this sphere? France. The mighty France added them into this sphere. So I guess the French are going to be the ones to build a canal this time. Wow. That's new. Hmm. Okay then. Well then, we're going to have to really think about that. And oh my goodness, what the heck is happening there? Okay, maybe what we should do is actually build the uh, Panama Canal. You know, the uh, canal that separates two nations. And you know what? I don't really care that much about Switzerland. Let's just invest into Colombia and let's start building that canal. <laughs> let's just go mess over America. Teach them that the Moreau Doctrine, Moreau Doctrine means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Alright, and then the Barfi. We got some more states we can declare war on. See, we have to have th two more states before we can just go uh, down like annex them. That's why I'm kind of like pushing for for these tiny states. All right, there we go. Let's go see. We're fighting for what region? Uh, by Fasa. So that's right there. So let's go conquer that now. Wait, first get all of our units in, then go conquer that. <laughs> and we do have an engineer right there. Ooh, that is something I keep forgetting to do. Let's build our engineers. Engineers, engineers. Because we need to have engineers in all of our units. So it makes sure they siege down quickly enough. Because sometimes they get kind of sad that they don't siege fast. Which annoys me. But when they actually do siege fast, it's really nice. Okay. They're, doing, they're trying to do some kind of defense, I guess. I, I guess it's just in their nature to try to defend their land that's about to be taken over by me. <laughs> Oh, you poor, you poor lost souls. Okay, there's a food canary that collapsed. I'm pretty sure that was the same one that was we were subsidizing for years. So, yeah, just just destroy it. Alright, let's see. We already got the war target. They seem to be trying to swarm in on the little land they know of. Let's go crush them, and then go that way. Unless they're all going to run. They're all going to run, aren't they? They're not, none of, not one of you guys is brave enough to face my army. Or should I say foolish enough to face my army? Green from the Suez! Who came up with this? The French. The French were the ones who actually built the Suez Canal. Congratulations, France. I never thought you guys would ever do anything like that. We're rather support for war. Yay, jinduism. Apparently I'm at war with like a lot of people down here, but I don't really... Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. Really? The fact that they don't want to fight me, though, is kind of annoying. Like... Stop running. Stop running for me. There we go. Haha. Ha. I'm gonna make it. There we go. Yeah, stop running for me. Seriously. It gets kind of annoying chasing you down. So let's go do that. Let's go see. You guys ready to give up? I'm pretty sure they're ready to give up. They're not ready to give up? Not yet? Okay. Let's go beat. Let's go first go beat up this army. It's not army I don't want to go get the war score. Ooh, they might actually get the war goal. Ooh, they're gonna get the war goal. Yep, they got the war goal. 
Oh, give me a second. I'll go get it in a second. The election of 1877! Yay! Alright. Technology output. Industrial chemistry. Just Let's just take down everything. I'm really trying to get... I'm really... What I'm trying to do is not... Wartime election! Yes! Totally! This is a good enough... This is a good enough war to be called a wartime election. <laughs> oh gosh. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get that. Get that right here. And if they do try to do anything stupid, I'm gonna have these guys come in and block them. So you guys better stay. Okay. No, 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 no. You guys ready? You guys ready to admit defeat? Good. Proceed. Fine. There are no gods. I don't really care. Get whatever you guys want. My party is already enough in power to where they will not be able to get out of power. And there we go. We just conquered another region in Africa. Uh, I hope this. I hope the game's also not glitching up too much because sometimes it's starting to get really heavy now. Now that we're in later games, so hopefully it's not too badly glitching. But I have to review the footage. The foot footage, not the footage, to make sure. To make sure. Alright, laissez faire, whatever. I don't really care. Oh, yeah, not they're not hunting down right now. So hunt down, hunt down. Uh oh yeah. Okay. Hunt down. By the way, you're still deployed? No. Right, there we go. <laughs> and we could create a general right now, but Ooh, this guy's insanely good. He's a genius, and he's a and he went to war college. This is like every Austrian dream right now. Who, what army is he in charge of? He's prestige thirty five percent too. Reginald, he's a part of the sixth army. Sixth army. Oh yes, and he's in he's in charge of a decent force. Oh, this guy, this guy right here. How old is he? Please tell me he's not that old. I'd love to have this guy for like ever. Like, never lose him. Alright. Also, um, we got four, four cavalry here. Let's go combine them. We got a couple different men right here. I know I made a lot of, like, engineers. Plant sugar! Go right here. And usually with the plant sugar, that means that it's time to start colonizing, right? Ah, and then I'm also going to have to go send these guys back to go, uh, babysit, I guess, is the words for it. Um, yeah, you guys combine. What happened to my, like, really awesome, what, wait, what happened to my, like, 15k stack? I was still building up. Oh, it's right over there. Whoops. Okay, so yeah, these guys get combined with those guys. Make a good army. And you guys break off your one siege engineer. Go send him right over here. So I'm probably going to have him do a siege back all this land. So there we go. And. <laughs> oh man. Limited citizenship, jindoism. And there we go. Alright. Plaza. Okay, let's see. You guys are allied with a lot of people, but it really doesn't matter. It's all basically going to be crushed in the end. The conservatives and the reactionaries win! Huzzah! And we won that. That's good. Conservatives declare victory. Alright. And let's see. Let's go see. We have to wait. Well, we have to wait for these guys to get down there. It's going to take them a little bit. And let's see. Uh, let's start instantly like upgrading these forts. Because most likely these guys did not upgrade the forts. I was correct. So let's go upgrade them for them. <laughs> And get these guys to combine as a unit. Combine. Get on the boats. Go right here. And you guys are going to be protectors of the Tunisian Tunisian uh, col colony. You have to make sure that Tunis does not fall into the wrong hands. And by that, I mean they don't fall into themselves again. Let's get the iron railroads that we can start building better railroads. And yes, we're doing a great job now. Uh, it seems like these guys are still duking it out. I think I think the Northern Confederation finally recovered though. Yeah, because it looks like they're occupying all this land, so 
It looks like Scandinavia is going to lose this, but it was a pretty cool effort to see them, like, actually do stuff. Okay, and let me just put these guys on auto kill for, like, next time if I ever play this episode, so I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.